I've put together a quick video here showing you how to integrate Loop Deck CT with Cakewalk. If you're using Cakewalk for your musical uh, as a musical sequencer, uh, Loop Deck CT is a control surface that I use for Premiere Pro mainly, and I've made up a profile for Cakewalk because um, there isn't one there. So I'm starting to use it. If you've got Loop Deck CT and Cakewalk, well then you're in business. Download the profile and good luck. Okay, I'm going to show you here how I integrate uh, my Loop Deck controller here with Cakewalk. Now, I use this Loop Deck uh, quite a lot for video editing with Premiere Pro. And I thought, well, why not use it for Cakewalk? Because, you know, it, it, it automates a lot of things and speeds up your workflow. Now, uh, Premiere Pro, there's a, <clears throat> there's a profile for it already. Uh, with Loop Deck, lots of other stuff as well, but not for Cakewalk. Oh, so there you go, you know. Uh, so I thought, well, let's let's try and make up a simple one myself with some basic functionality in it. So what I'm going to do here is, you can see in track three here, I've recorded some audio. Now I've recorded this off Spotify. So um, I just play the track on Spotify and then I arm this and I record and I see I've got level here and then at this point I drag it back to the beginning of Spotify and it starts again and I leave it run. So when it finished I want to now select this bit here, delete it and move all this back and I want to do it as quickly as I can. So this is how I do it. On my loop deck I go to start right, and then I play. So there's playing. Now when it gets up to uh, when it just gets up here, um, I'm going to I'm going to pause it there. Now that's where I want to come in, and I want to delete it. So I just use the mouse to to put my playhead there. Okay, I've got the smart tool selected. I go back, I select it all, but then on the loop deck, I just hit delete. Deletes it. Then I select move tool on the loop deck, and now I. Drag that back straight away with the move tool, go back to smart tool, and that's it, I'm done. So it's very quick to do that um, <clears throat> with the loop deck. Just press a few buttons on this and drag it away, and, and, and it's done, you know. So I hope that's some, some help to you. Also on the loop deck, you can see a very useful feature here I've put on a button, which is zoom for, sorry, zoom horizontally. Now look at that. Okay, I know you can do it with the mouse, but to have this just on its own little um, button here, you can just turn it. To me, that's fantastic. And there's my all my songs I'm taking off Spotify and converting to MP3 files. So that's all for the moment.